Um, first of all, I will show you the, the data base we have for the perioperative chemotherapy or perioperative chemo radiation. I will focus on the landmark trials that has impacted the way we treat these patients today. So the first um, uh, uh, two important trials on periop chemotherapy were the MAGIC and the FFCD trial. As you see here, both uh, trials were clearly uh, positive. They utilized periop chemotherapy with ECF, as in the MAGIC, or CF, uh, as in the FFCD. And both trials have shown an improvement in overall survival by 13 and 12 percent at five years. There was no difference in complication rates, no difference in perioperative uh, mortality rates. And um, if you look uh, at the difference in these uh, trials in the MAGIC UK, this trial was a gastric cancer trial with 74% of patients having gastric cancer, where the FFCD trial was a, a junctional uh, a cancer study. Uh, with 64% of patients having gastric, gastroesophageal junction cancer, and both trials were clearly positive. So, um, many, we have had about 10 negative uh, further randomized trials until the FLOT4, which was the first trial ever to show an improvement of overall survival by a multi, uh, bimodal uh, treatment versus another one. And in the FLOT4, patients were included when they uh, had a CT. CT2 or more gastric or gastroesophageal uh, cancer um, and were randomized to receive MAGIC, which was the most uh, used uh, standard of care versus four cycles of the two weekly FLOT before and after operation. The FLOT trial consisted of 56% uh, gastroesophageal junction tumors and 44% gastric cancers, and 80% of patients were, had nodal positive disease or had a T3 or T4 uh, tumor. And um, what we have seen is that uh, uh, R0 resection rate improved, and this is in the intention to treat from 78% to 85%. And also downsizing of the tumor was clearly better with FLOT, with PT1 tumors being 15% with ECF and 25% with FLOT. This resulted in an improvement in disease-free survival and overall survival. Um, looking at the subgroup analysis of the FLOT4 trial, the data are very consistent. All subgroups had derived benefit. It was ensuring to see that L older adult patients had a benefit. Um, and also the benefit was irrespective of ECOG performance status and um, in all other uh, subgroups. And this is here important, including signatory cancer cells. So you know that uh, Florian Lordic has just mentioned uh, uh, th that there were doubts whether signet cell cancers would benefit from chemo. What we can also see from the FLOT4, this is additional uh, proof of principle for this group. The hazard ratio was 0.74 in the tumors with signet cell component versus ECF. That means even more versus nothing. So this is an additional proof that you have to treat Segnet cell cancer with periop chemo. Now coming to the CROSS trial, the CROSS trial was a relatively small trial with 366 patients. The 24% uh, only had junctional tumors, 73% esophageal, 65% of patients had uh, nodal positive disease, and 75% had adenocarcinoma. The relative benefit from chemo radiation uh, with paclitaxel and carboplatin and 41 gray radiation was similar to the MAGIC, it was 13%. However, in the whole group, if you go to, if you go to the, uh, and look at the adenocarcinoma group, this was clearly less. So first of all, in the, looking at the subgroups of the cross, the study is inconsistent. In fact, if you look, we, there are so many subgroups uh, that did uh, a way we don't understand. So female patients did not benefit. Um, adenocarcinoma had clearly less benefit. Uh, the benefit was seen in squamous muscle carcinoma and, and very um, uh, disappoint what is very disappointing is that also nodal positive disease had less benefit and these are in fact the patients we are fighting for. So, um, uh, and patients with performance status of one where we believe the more tolerable cross regimen is good for these patients did not benefit at all with a hazard ratio of 0 0.9. So, um, um, now, first of all, we have to look 
we are talking about gastroesophageal junction. And as you heard, these patients were differently distributed among the studies. How did these patients in the chemo, periop chemo trials? So these are here the three landmark periop chemo trials. These are the total hazard, the hazard ratios for the total populations, and these are the hazard ratios for the gastroesophageal junction cancers. And interestingly, they are clearly less. So 0.49 in the MAGIC and 0.57 in the FSCD trial. So you feel, and the hazard ratio in the uh, FLOT trial was similar in the gastroesophageal junction group versus the gastric group. So you feel here that specifically this group derived the best benefit in the peri-op chemo trials. And you will see more about this. So if you look at in the FLOT4 trial and look at something that only the FLOT4 has captured, which is Barrett mucosa. And what we have seen here, Barrett is the most and most, or it's the, uh, um, the, the, the definitive sign of junction, a junctional tumor. And in the Barrett group, patients receiving FLOT had a hazard ratio of 0 0.619 versus ECF. This is the best hazard ratio observed in all subgroups of the FOT trial. So the question, does Barrett carcinomas benefit most from chemotherapy? Yes, this is correct, and I will show you more results. Uh, my colleague has mentioned that if you look at chemo radiation versus chemo, responses are clearly better with chemo radiation. This is incorrect, in my opinion. Why? When you when you compare chemoradiation trials with radiation trials, in fact, you compare junctional with gastric cancers and not the one or other treatment because chemoradiation trials, they were performed in junctional tumors and esophageal tumors. And look at three different trials done by three different group with FLOT looking at a central evaluation of path response with FLOT. The first trial by Homan and colleagues had seen 17.4% complete path response with FLOT. These are complete path responses, centrally evaluated. This, this rate was 30.8% in the intestinal histology and 30.4% in the tumors located in the junction and only 0.4.3% in the gastric. Another trial by Schultz from Munich 17.2% complete path, 25% in the intestinal type, which is the predominant type in the junctional tumors, versus 5.3% in the diffuse types. And our phase two, uh, part of the uh, FLOT4 trial published in Lancet Oncology, 23% complete path responses with FLOT in the intestinal type and 2.2 in the diffuse type. So what we can see here, chemotherapy, specifically FLOT, induces responses that are similar to, ke to the chemoradiation, but they are higher in the junctional tumors where we can achieve more. And if you look at uh, these, all of these trials, what you will see here is that the chemo trials are the largest, 802 patients, 503, 224, 716, where, in my opinion, the efficacy of radiation in junctional tumors is built on a thin ice we have got only two positive individual trials. So, head-to-head -head comparison of FLOT and CROSS. The FLOT is the largest, by far the largest trial. The GE junction group of the FLOT was largest, larger than the whole CROSS trial. We have got the hazard ratio of 0 0.76 versus MAGIC, which was associated with a hazard ratio of 0. 49 in junctional tumors versus 0 0.74 versus surgery alone in the cross trial. And they had the ratios better in the Barrett carcinomas, as I mentioned. But also, the margin free resection is slightly more in the FLOT. In fact, if you look at the intention to treat, don't look at the 90% uh, uh, 90% uh, R0 resection in the, in, the, in, in the operated population. In the intention to treat FLOT is slightly better despite the fact that FLOT in the FLOT4 trial 
8% had T4 versus 0% in the cross, and 78% had nodal positive disease versus um, 65%. We have also got uh, bet, uh, in, uh, consistent data in most of the subgroups, and um, uh, clearly more lymph nodes uh, um, uh, removed. So in terms of toxicity, and this is important, we have more grade 3, 4 toxicity. Uh, and, uh, but the radiation is expected to have more uh, uh, chronic toxicity. Uh, and uh, in some studies, or many studies, surgical mortality was increased. So have, you have to be aware of this. And FLOT could be more convenient because we have less visits, only 8 versus 23. Uh, we, you can immediately start with chemo. You don't have to wait. And you don't need nutritional tubes. Patients can swallow after two, three days of the start of chemotherapy. So um, I have to conclude. So large and consistent data sets of uh, prospective randomized trials provide definitive proof of the efficacy of periop chemo on more than 3,000 patients today. Periop chemo works best in gastroesophageal junction tumors. PCR rates with FLOT are comparable to chemo radiation, but with more systemic effects. Erzilo resection rates are similar despite more advanced tumors than the FLOT4 studies. And FLOT is better than ECF, but CROSS is not. And this is maybe the most important argument. The best therapy option for patients with T2 or more, and I absolutely agree with Florian Lardic in this point, I strongly recommend to treat tumors of T2 and 0. And T2 or N1, G-junction cancer, is peri-op flot plus surgery, including two-feed lymph adenectomy. And future trials should determine which groups may benefit from adding radiation to peri-op flot chemotherapy. For example, in the group of patients with T3, T4, or the bulky nodal disease. Thank you very much.